So, I just turned 17, and I don't really know how to feel about it, I guess. So, I drew myself. I actually made one of these just last year, but like... Okay, I just- it's really bad. Like, really bad. Like, I don't even know if I want to show you this bad. Well, whatever. Oh, Here it is. Oh my god! Yeah... I don't even know why I bothered posting this, because I literally thought it was bad as I was drawing it. Whatever, let's just get to this year's. Recently, I've been seeing a bunch of Meet the Artists that have like, this whole scrapbook aesthetic, and I really wanted to try that. I hit this instant wall though, because like, I couldn't remember anything about myself or what I liked, so... But I knew I wanted my pets to be with me, so posing us three is pretty easy, and then the rest of the composition came from there, uh, so it worked out. So I started sketching it, uh, like for real, but I instantly changed my facial expression from that big smile you see to just a little bit of a, like a smirk or something, I don't know, just a normal smile because I never smile like that in real life. Uh, plus I couldn't figure out how to draw it so it wasn't super ugly, but the rest was pretty easy. I'm realizing now that I literally didn't record or write any commentary for this entire section where I am uh, sketching out all the other parts of this drawing. So I'm just going straight off me nog in here. I wanted to show this, but I didn't write anything. So whatever, I guess you're gonna just have to listen to me ramble. Um, after I like figured out where I wanted everything to be, it was really easy to sketch it out because I had reference photos for literally everything. Um, and if I didn't have a reference photo for it, I just looked it up or I just posed myself and then did it myself. Like the picture, the me, myself, is my face is from like a selfie I took a little while ago. And then I just took a photo of myself wearing my, what I had on and sat in the position that I wanted to draw myself in. Uh, and including the shoes because I really don't know how to draw shoes without a reference. But I had that photo of my snake and I had that photo of my dog. I'll show those at the end, I guess. And I just looked up photos of like all the little items that I wanted or like my drawing supplies. I just had them next to me. So I just drew them like that and it was easy. Um, and then like the designs and stuff in the back, you don't need a reference photo for that. You just draw it. So... Yeah, it went pretty quick, but I feel like the, the watching the process is cool, so I'm gonna, like, just leave this in. But I gotta, like, fill the silences, you know? I don't want another copyright strike. Now that I was done sketching, I started painting everything in, starting with the little easy stuff, um, like the embellishments and stuff. And then I started painting in the objects. I included my favorite art supplies, objects that I use a lot, and my favorite foods. I'll go over everything and what it is at the end. After that, I quickly colored in my beautiful baby boy, my snake, Apollo, uh, and then I hopped over to my dog, Gia. She took forever, oh my god. Uh, but it was worth it, because this looks exactly like her. Uh, not that Apollo doesn't look like himself, but you know what I mean, like, this is scary accurate. And then I got to work on myself. It was supposed to look like I was leaning on Gia's head, and that's why my eyes closed, but instead it just kind of looks like I'm winking. Meh, whatever. I don't know, maybe I'm being overly cautious like, and afraid of copyright and stuff, but better safe than sorry, and I don't really have anything else to say, so I guess I'll just keep talking about copyright over and over again. Actually, I do have something to say. The clothes were like really easy. They went by so fast, and I just I dropped the colors that I used for my phone and my iPad because I didn't have any color to use for these. Um, the shoes were a little slow because they were so like intricate and there was so many layers and I ran out of layers But so I kept having to like do little tricks and stuff, but overall it was fine Yeah, no, this was really fun to make and I'm still reeling from the fact that Last year's was so ugly. I, I, my style has definitely changed, but I didn't know it changed that much. I think that one was just like an outlier, like a dud. And uh, like just somehow it got <laughs> like created and posted. And somehow that one was one of the like main things. Why didn't I just like take a little longer to make it look good? Like I'm actually mad about this, whatever. 
that doesn't spoil uh how much i like this like this is actually one of my favorite things that i've ever drawn like this looks so good like okay guys i'm an amazing artist and i'm better than everyone else on this earth i'm um, jk am i yeah, i guess you'll never know all right now that you've seen the speed paint let's talk about let's just go through everything this is an uncrustable this is a banana this is an oreo this is chocolate fudge ice cream with whipped cream and chocolate syrup this is a posca pen this is a tombow dual tip brush pen this is my sketchbook these are pencils this is a micron fine liner and these are the apps i use to make and post my art youtube tiktok instagram and procreate over here we have my airpods my ipad my apple pencil my phone my toothbrush an ego waffle a walmart mint cookie a pot pie and my stuffed animal that you can put in the microwave and heat up these are all the things that i like and these are all the things that i don't like this is my favorite color palette these are my flags this is my personality type my like mbti or whatever i kind of think it's wrong i think i'm an istj i don't know though i really gotta retake the test just not on openpsychometrics.org or whatever it is that's the day i was born and that is how tall i am please do not make fun of me for being short in the comments brayden already did on instagram also though wait can we just take a second to appreciate how good i drew these hands oh my god i killed it in this illustration dang look at those things now that we've gone through all of that let me talk about how much i love my pets my snake apollo is literally the dumbest most pea brain smooth brain no thoughts in his head one time we were sitting on my floor and he was on my shoulder and he just threw himself the like three or so feet to the ground for no reason numbskull little guy in this dimension and every other and he has my entire heart i love him so much guys it's not funny and then there's gia okay like i'm literally gonna start crying because of how much i love her like she is no joke everything to me i'm not kidding if anything happened to her i would just die and then rot away on the spot because i simply could not exist without my dog like she means so much to me anyways that's all i got oh wait one last thing when i started this drawing this was 100 percent true but now i'm kind of like branching out my shoe wearing so i think this is pretty much changed now plus i just got the sickest shoes known to man and i plan on wearing them a lot all right that's all i got bye have a great day Dumbass, most pea brain, smooth brain, no thoughts in his head. One time he was sitting on my floor and he was on my shoulder and he just threw himself, like, threw himself feet to the ground for no reason. I'm so little guy.